You've been in the studio with a lot of big artists. Yeah, recently, low key. Before Tory Lanez was incarcerated. And oh, I know Tory Lanez is like one of your goats. You were able to get in with him a couple of times. So what was that like? Were you Bro, I, I low-key, I, I felt so fucking whack for a little bit because I remember there is this uh, this this person, uh, this chick there, and she was asking us, hey, Tory, uh, so uh, what in high school or, or what did you win best most likely to, you know, or whatever? And like, I don't know what possessed me to answer for him. Because you knew the answer? Bro, I was like, he didn't even, he didn't even get to high school. He didn't even finish elementary or middle school. And then he just looked at me and she looked at me and I was like, why the fuck did I just say this right now, bro? But he was cool after that. It was cool after. I was just, I'm just I was just a big fan. I told him, I was like, hey, bro, I used to rock the Goodwood, you know, oh. I used to, that's a good pause. There's no, pa- there's no need for pause. We're not diddlers here. We don't act fuzzy. Hey, what's a diddler? You know what a diddler is. Dog. Tell me about a diddler. Ain't no, ain't, ain't no need to diddy splay. I've know? hung out with did, 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 the diddler. Yeah, you have. Oh yeah. How was how'd that go? At the iHeart Festival, I was hanging with the diddler. He's a nice yeah. the diddler. Yeah, was I a mean, nice I guy. I, luckily, I'm real, hey, his son's a nice guy. Yeah, luckily I've ne- I can't say anything about anything because I've never been in those rooms. Listen. Everybody in the music industry that ever has really meant something for the most part has been to a version of a Diddy party. Period. Their Diddy parties are like, if there's the Grammys, if there's whatever. There's, so you've been to a Diddy party? No, I haven't. Oh, okay. But I, everybody I know, I, it, it's not. Hey, LeBron said ain't no party like That's what I'm Diddy saying. Party. It's like, just because you went to a Diddy party don't mean there was a bunch of hella weirdo shit going on. But, now, but what happened after... Is? Later on in the night, early in the morning, I don't know, but it's like people gotta stop acting like. Yeah, I, I've heard just because so somebody went to a Diddy party, it's some weirdo shit. Everybody went to a fucking yeah, Diddy party. Yeah, I feel like because luckily, you know, blessed to that, you know, we've worked together, and I've been here in LA, and I've gotten to be in rooms with cool people. A lot of my friends back home will ask me questions like, "Hey, bro," I'm like, "Bro, I don't fucking know, dude. Like, I don't see no shit like this. Like, I think if that happens, that's on some other t- tier shit. But I don't even think that happens because I don't, I don't fucking. Everyone's too busy pausing. Pausing left and right and shit. So, Tory Lanes. Yeah. You have this song that's not out yet. Yeah. A great fucking song. And we're like on a super mission to make sure he got on the song. Yeah. Literally called me last minute. I was fucking getting... So we're like, over. pull up on Tory. We go to his studio session and we're just sitting there all fucking night, just hanging out. Waiting. Waiting. And then at the end of the night, he's like, yo, Kev... Plug in, play your guy's shit, whatever. So we start playing a bunch of your music. Yeah. He loves all of it. Yeah, that was like, I thought you were going to be like some King Lil G. I was like, right. no. <laughs> and shout out to King Lil G. Yeah, shout out to King Lil G, but yeah, you know. Um. So then there was like a, I was at the weekend tour mm-hmm. at SoFi. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Weren't you in Arizona? I was. That's why. That was like last minute And Tori hits me yeah. and he's like, yo, tonight I want to I wanna get in with your boy and lay that verse. So I hit you up, and I'm like, "You got to get to, uh, uh, you got to get to LA like right now." Yeah, I was eating frozen yogurt downtown. So you end up taking a plane. Yeah, no, no ID, no nothing, no backpack, no clothes. You end up getting back to LA. Mm-hmm. And then, what was it like having Tori get on your shit, bro? It was low key. I, I was like, I mean, I've, I don't think I've ever like fanned out or nothing, but I definitely was like. That to me, that's that's one of my goats, bro. Like I was just I was just watching him do it, and I was like, I'm in my head. I was like, I'm so fucking happy that I don't have to also record because I don't know how I'm gonna top. I was I'm supposed to top that or anything like that. That's how I was thinking. But now that I think about it, I could have kept up. But I was just I was just freaking out. Like I low key was like I kind of was crying on the inside. But I was like, bro, don't tear up right now. Yeah, because he cut his verse fucking quick. Bro, five fucking minutes. Five minutes, bro. And I'm happy to say that the dude that recorded it, who recorded all of uh, Tori's 80 shit, now we work together, which is fucking awesome. Right. Yeah, shout out Mike, man. Cool guy, that guy. Yeah, so hopefully that song comes out. It'll come out. It'll come out. It'll. I don't, I don't see why it wouldn't come out. It's just a part of another project that's cohesive. Yeah. It's, it's like an 80s, yeah, vibey, it's pop fun, project. It's, a, it's, one of, it's probably the best body of work I've ever done. Shout out Austin. Uh, who else have you been in with that you were like, this is pretty cool? Uh, fucking just the other day, uh, Wally the Sensei. Wally. Yeah. To me, that was fucking crazy because I still remember during COVID, me and the homies, I got bitches trying to kill me, kill me. For some shit I forgot I did. Like, I still remember that shit. So that, low-key, I, I told him too, once we recorded, I'm like, hey, bro, this is kind of trippy to me, bro, because being from Arizona especially, like, we be listening to, like, a lot of people from out here. And for me to be like, oh, shit, I'm working with Wally right now, it's kind of cool. So, yeah, yeah that's um, the person. Uh, where, I got you guys work. did four songs? I think it was five, but five four, songs? Four, I, I don't think I, I don't think we liked the fifth one. 
So you guys did four or four songs you liked in yeah, one yeah. night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then and you also worked with Baby Drill. Baby Drill, bro. Which I was super post random, it. bro. Super fucking random. And I think the song is actually pretty fucking hard. I low key wanted to post it today. Uh, that's on my old broken phone though, so I'm gonna get that and post it today, Loki. Uh, who else do I have? You and Bravo work together. Oh, I hate, me and Bravo. You Bravo. Got to get another one in though. I don't like the song. I mean, it's 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 more for him. Yeah, he can yeah. Take but it. he he's he's a cool guy. It's, it was the, no, Bravo's the best. Yeah, he's, he's a super great nice guy. guy man. Yeah, bro. I, I just love I just love when people is just themselves. I, I think that's why a Bravo's lot of people dope. we all fuck with each other. We're just yeah. ourselves. 